Hey, 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 it's your girl Stacy, and it's time for the weekend vlog. So as promised, I have for you today the October empties. So these are the products that I, that I have used over the last month. And I'm going to tell you what I think about them, if I will rebuy them, if I wouldn't, etc. Okay, so first I have a little hodgepodge of everything. I have household stuff, personal stuff, um, just stuff. So first I have the, and I've showed you guys these before, but this was a new scent I use is Gain, Cascade with Gain. Love it. Actually went and repurchased that today. So I got the big bag. It was good. Um, smell fresh. Like y'all know I'm big about smell. So I would definitely rebuy this. I'm trying to put all these in my recyclable bag as I'm talking to you guys. Um, then I have the Airwick Lavender and Chamomile like plugins. So these were good. I um, have one left out of the pack of two. Uh, probably will repurchase them again. The scent is a little strong. I have it in my laundry room. Um, I think I'll stick with the clean linen scent next, but I do like it because I like lavender. Okay. Um, I'll save this for last. Sorry. Guys, I keep moving from the camera. So I went and got, and I can show you... Um, Actually, I don't have the case here, but I can show you guys. I got these two cases. It's Kate Spade. I got it from Verizon. It's for my phone. Um, one is like a black clutch or wristlet um, to put my phone in when I go out. And um, then I have the actual card case to protect my phone, and that's this. So, And I love it. So definitely redos. I'm a big Kate Spade fan anyway, so... Yay, Kate Spade. So, yes, and I got it for Verizon, and I turned in my phone. Um, so, uh, I was able to get a credit, and with the credit, I was able to get these two items. So, definitely a, you know, a good buy, and hopefully I won't need to rebuy them anytime soon. But, like I said, one is the a black wristlet that um, you can put your credit cards in and slide your phone in. I know you guys have seen them. Um, and then, then the actual case so yes um what is this oh another um no this is for my actual for my home for the toilets this is the Lysol little clip that you put in the toilet um and it lasts up to eight weeks it does leave your bathroom smelling fresh my uh half bath downstairs is very small and tight so it, it always smells um stuffy so with these, I, I have an air freshener in there as well, but with these, it you know, anytime the toilet was flushed or whatever, just let off a nice clean scent. So yes, I would rebuy these again. So I'll keep on with the cleaning products. Sorry guys. This is a staple item for me, the Clorox disinfectant wipes. I use these all the time. I use them in the bathroom. I use them in the kitchen. Just, yeah, I love these. Definitely will rebuy them. I'm out. Alright, moving on to another scent item. I think I've showed you guys this before. This is from Scentsy. This is the lavender, um, French lavender. I love this. I have a Scentsy warmer in my bedroom that I burn this. You know, I like the lavender in my bedroom. And it smells so good, even with them all gone. Oh, it smells so good. So, yes, definitely going to keep repurchasing the from Scentsy. Now, moving to the feminine personal products I found these and I know you guys like I can't believe she's showing this but yes I am we're women it's what it is it's real we deal with it so these are um, pads these are always ultra thin extra heavy overnight okay so let me tell you why I'm showing you guys these so um, my former co-worker turned me on to the always uh, pads for overnight a couple of years ago and they were purple that's how I knew that they were the right one they were in a purple wrapping and I was like okay I gotta have them you know because overnight can be kind of a pain sometimes I'll just put it like that so this one gave you full coverage etc so I got them but the only thing is they're long and they're thick and they were very um hot to me like I just felt hot when I had them on so these are the same thing they're always but they I guess they heard someone else complain so they made the same thing in a thin pad and it is the bomb I love it and it, you give the same coverage 
um, but it's just in a thinner pad. So if you can do that, I say go for it. I am not disappointed and I will be buying more of these. Also, um, I've talked to you guys about my diabetes struggle. So one of my students told me about, because um, she also suffers from diabetes, so she told me about getting cinnamon capsules and taking them um, every day. So I got some. I have already repurchased and I'm buying them again. They smell great. They smell like cinnamon if you're a cinnamon lover. Um, you could take them as a capsule. I've been told you could take them and sprinkle them on your food or in your drink. I just take them straight like a capsule. But what's funny is, and this is probably TMI, but when I burp after I take these, I can taste cinnamon. So it's like, hmm, I still got a breath freshener. But anyway, so these are a redo. Um, I'm going back to the doctor next month. So we'll see if this has made an impact with my blood sugar. So thanks to her. And her name is Stacy too. Thanks, Stacy, for telling me about these. And last but not least, this is another staple item for me. I keep them in, keep it in my purse. I keep them on my desk. This is, and I don't even know who, like, who these people are. But I get it from the beauty supply store. And I've turned my co-worker on to it as well. And my former co-worker. It's Defeal or Diefeel Organic Olive Essential Nutrients Hand and Body Lotion. And, I, like I said, I get it from the beauty supply. This container is like $7.00. But my boyfriend's a barber, so I try to get him to get it on his discount. So I end up paying like 5 or $6 for it. Um, but yeah, this is great. It's very moisturizing. Um, I even have one in my kitchen. Like, I keep them everywhere. And if this one's really out. Usually I try to um, get as much as I can out of it. But this is a great thing. So if you ever see this, and they come in a little tube for your purse too. If you ever see this, drop, buy it. You won't be... Um, disappointed it doesn't have a strong scent it's a nice clean like lemony maybe scent but it's very um it's good i love it so those are all the products that i have to share for the month of october um we'll see how next month go next month goes if i have a lot of products to share usually it's taking me about every two months to go through and to have enough to show you guys so um, that's what I'll try to do. You know, whenever I have it, I'll definitely come back and share. Um, a little bit about my Saturday. I've been running around. I'm on Periscope now. So I I catch myself driving and holding my phone trying to Periscope. So I went to Walmart today and I got a uh, stand for my phone. So now I can Periscope in the car and stay in touch with everybody and feel safe about doing it. So I did that. Um, my nephew uh, is trick-or-treating tonight, and he always comes by my house. And I couldn't remember what his favorite candies were, so that's another reason I went to Walmart. I already had some candy in case I get some trick-or-treaters. Not that um, I don't really have a lot of trick-or-treaters. I, I haven't had a good Halloween with trick-or-treaters in a long time. Um, I don't know. People feel differently about Halloween. I understand that. I respect that. But I, have, I grew up trick-or-treating, and... It wasn't demonic or anything like that. It was a time for me to get with my friends and we had fun together. Safe riding with our parents through the neighborhood. Um, you know, it was and, and life was different then too, but um, like I said, but my nephew's coming tonight. It, you know, so I wanted to have something special for him for his favorite candy. So I went and got him his own Swedish fish and his own Mike and Ike. So that's why I went to um, Walmart as well. What else? Um, hmm. Oh, I thought it was going to be... It is about 60 degrees today, but when I first got out this morning, I thought it was cold, so I put on my Uggs, and I was about to die when I was out and about. My feet were sweating and everything, so maybe I, I was a little premature on the Uggs today, but um, what else? I got to do some stuff for Strayer and get some grades in for my students. I'm really enjoying my courses this um, quarter. I'm teaching Business 100, which is Intro to Business, and I'm teaching um, Human Resources Global, and I'm enjoying that. I love my students. Um, this one group, I've had them for several quarters now, so it feels like family, so it's just us getting together and having a good time when we have class. Um, so what else? So I'm going to grade their papers and their work. Got to pay some bills. I don't like to pay bills. And it's funny. I have three tickets that I have to pay, like parking tickets and one of those B camera tickets. 
Prince George's County is going to own my whole paycheck if I keep driving around the, the county. Um, so I have to do that. And um, tomorrow, my grandmother, the one I think I've spoken about her on uh, some of my YouTubes. And I know I've posted things on my social media about her. She's 98 years old. And she uh, is in the hospital right now. She's having, she had a fall and um, hasn't fully recuperated from that. So going to check on her tomorrow, make sure grandma's doing okay. I mean, 98 years old, we're not made like that anymore. She's made out of some different stuff. So we got to preserve that and make sure she's okay. Um, and I think that's it, guys. I want you all to uh, have a happy and safe trick-or-treating experience if you are trick-or-treating if you're an adult and you're going out halloween is always crazy so please be safe i think i'm a low be low-key tonight um my friend is having something but i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to make it um so that's about it for me um i hope you enjoyed my empties if you have any comments on the products i've showed or any questions Please inbox me, Facebook me, Instagram me, Periscope. When I get on, let me know what you think. I love it. Um, so anyway, oh, and I cut my hair, guys. Y'all see? I got rid of all the red, well, a lot of the red, and I got rid of my mohawk. Um, trying to just start over a little bit. I probably put some more color in it. Um, let this grow out a little bit on the top. But um, something funky for the fall. So anyway. I hope you all enjoyed this. Just a little snippet into my weekend. I will talk to you all next week with a wonderful, exciting topic. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but I have something you'll enjoy. All right. Talk to you later. Holla.